Welcome, my chingus, to episode 59 of This Week in K-Pop. In this episode, we will talk about AOA, GD and Taeyang, GOT7, Hai Soo Hyun, Hyorin and Ju Yong, and Mamamoo. My name is Steven, and I'm great at Korean names. He just, I don't know why he, we force you to read the names, because... <laughs> I gotta practice. It's, it's mostly in Korean. I'm yeah. Josh. I'm the better one at Korean. Yeah, but I am the better voice, and you're the it's better true. face. <laughs> it's true. And that's, that's why true. we work together with our powers combined. We're we like are Voltron. We're like Voltron. We're like Voltron's leg. Voltron's leg. You're one leg, the other leg. We form the crotch. Yeah, <laughs> Steven's the crotch. We're not. The, we're the crotch together. <laughs> no, I'm like the hip, and you're the Dingleberries. Oh man, okay, I'll go with yeah, that. Yeah, there is I mean, Voltron Dingleberries. I don't know why we went to Dingleberries, but uh, normally this is a discussion podcast that covers the last two weeks of K-pop music video releases, <laughs> and uh, each week Josh and I will pick the best song of the last two weeks. Now, during episode fifty-eight, I was pretty ill. Yep. And uh, who would have thought? I'm ill now. <laughs> you know, after we were making out for like, you know, an hour. I told you too much tongue. Yeah. I told you. You know, I'm sorry. I just had to do it. So now you're sick. Yeah. Um, we almost didn't record today, but, you know, Josh is a trooper. Yeah. Um, Trekked all the way over here. Yeah. My just for you guys. frog sound and voice. So maybe your voice sounds sexier now. I don't know. Sometimes, I doubt it. Sometimes when I I'm sick, it. I get like that low voice and like people are like, well, that's a pretty good voice. No, you see, you think in your own head like, oh, my, no, voice, no. my voice sounds so I, sick. I think it sounds yeah. awful. But other people really were like, eh, man, your voice sounds good. You know, like that morning voice. No? Morning voice? Yeah, you get that like low voice, you know, like, like yeah. you're like, hey, girl. Hey, girl, can I make you some pancakes? Like if you like weren't that. looking, yeah, if you weren't looking at my voice, right? I mean, my face right now. I mean, maybe you'd like this voice, you know? Why are you like, Or you can be like, hey, yo, I'm GD. No, that's not right. Oh, that's not right? <laughs> well, that's not right. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, so we're going to talk about a lot of music videos uh, yeah. uh, this episode. Um, don't forget, of course, we're going to talk about our main kind of section, our main six, uh, which I talked about in the introduction. But we also will hit up a bunch of other videos in the lightning round near the yeah. end. So, Because uh, there's a lot of videos that came out. Uh, yeah. This is like the time... Um, right before Christmas, yeah. kind of winter time, and then it'll, it'll slow back down again yeah. until the new year, and then all of a sudden, like, it'll just be a hailstorm again. Like a hailstorm of, like, springish songs, and, like, yep. Busker Busker will be popular again. It's going to be a strange time, spring. Well, we, we still got, like, two more months, three more months of winter to get through. Yeah. Get there. It's not even technically winter, winter yet. Yeah, not here, anyways. Yeah. Um, it, it snowed in Texas before it snowed here, which is crazy to me. That's weird. Um, yeah. But uh, anyways, I do want to mention, though, uh, at the top of the episode that uh, for the last month, I have been doing kind of work with Drama Fever mm, um, right. on the on the, this thing. It's called uh, K-Drama LOLs or K-Drama Lapses of Logic. And, you know, if you've seen Cinema Sins, uh, it is pretty much Cinema Sins for Korean dramas. It's where... You know, I go through the Korean drama. I, I kind of pick out all the big problems, the stupid problems, the small problems. It's 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 serious, but it's also kind of funny. Yeah. So if you watch any Korean dramas, you don't actually have to watch the ones that I'm talking about because I did My Lovable Girl, first couple episodes. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing Pinocchio now, uh, which is actually a really, really good drama. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, like I, you you might like it a lot. Park Shin-e is just disgustingly cute. Um, She's gorgeous. And uh, the plot actually, you know, every, it actually holds together pretty well. Mm. But uh, So you don't actually have to watch the dramas. You can kind of watch it and just see the ridiculousness of K-dramas in general. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Check that out, please. It's on the Drama yeah. Fever channel. Yeah. Um, again, it's called K-Drama LOLs. You, we'll probably link to it in the uh, description below if I yeah. remember to do that. But it would be a really great thing if you can, uh, if you can check that out because yeah. it would help us a lot. Yeah. Just to get some volume in there. Yeah. 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 All, All right. right. Let's move on. Let's start with the music. Let's start the episode. And we're going to start with my favorite song of the last two weeks. It is no surprise um, because who, who do I like? What kind of songwriter that everybody detests with a passion but I seem um, to really like? Who, uh, what's his name? Is it Bray Bradas? It's Bray's Brazas. Bray Bradas. Um, again, if you're new to the podcast, Brave Brothers is a one guy. He, mm -hmm. he runs Brave Sound. He is a producer on a lot of K-pop songs, mm -hmm. uh, most notably recently for AOA. He yeah. wrote AOA's 
uh, miniskirt. He wrote AOA short hair. Yeah. And those are the two songs that really uh, raised the level of AOA status. Yeah. Um, they are one of the hottest groups now in Korea. Yeah, definitely. Um, like them and Girls Day are the two sexist. Yeah, the two most popular. I mean, aside from like boy groups, of course. Yeah. We're talking about just girl groups in general. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Girls Generation is definitely on on the way outs. Yeah. Uh, FX is on the way outs. Yeah. SM is on the way outs. Yeah, SM is just um, on the way outs. Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, my favorite song of the week was AOA, Like a Cat. Sabun Sabun. Yeah, is that, is it, why is it called Sabun Sabun? Uh, sabun Sabun is like a kind of like an onomatopoeia word for the sound of like... Um, like scratching? Like a, no, like a paw. Like touching. Paw hitting a... Yeah. Hitting a paw it's or like, paw hitting? It's like the... It's, well, it's not really a sound, I guess, but it's more of like softly walking oh. or stealthily walking, which like, is why it's called Sabun Sabun. All right. That makes no sense to me, but you yeah, know, whatever. It's supposed to be the Catwoman theme. I don't know. Yeah, there's a good. Uh, there's a good. It's relatively old, but there's a good ear kimchi, uh, mm. video about like weird Korean like noises for what certain mm, things make. That's right. That's right. Um, and maybe that's on there. Just like animals and things. Yeah, yeah. cause like they need it for like mangas, so like you know. Ah, yeah. Uh, they 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 always have weird Man sounds. Was. Yeah. Uh, sorry, mom was. Now you're in Korea. Yeah, it's not ramen, it's ramyun. Ramyun, right? not ramen. Yeah, it's uh. Anyways, AOA is like a cat. Um, yeah. you know, Brave Song gets a lot of, lot of, lot of junk because, of course, people say all their songs sound the same. Mm-hmm. And yes, Miniskirt and Short Hair did sound very similar. Although mm-hmm. I can definitely tell the difference between them. Yeah, and they're definitely. both amazing yeah. for to me. Um, like a cat actually sounds. Uh, a different. It, it still definitely sounds like a Brave Sound song. Yeah, especially definitely. the beginning because it 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 still starts with a with the hey hey you know the ba da ba da ba and like yeah. talking while the beats going in the background like bam yeah. bam bam. I, I will say I I think the intro is way too long in this. Like they like the girl with the high pitched voice is just talking for Jimin. so long. Jimin. Um, her voice isn't even like that. I've heard her regular voice. It's yeah. pleasant. So like that is her rapping voice. Her rapping voice. Um. Yeah, that that rapping voice it definitely bothers me at times. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've also enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed Moya uh, when they did AOA Black. Oh yeah, I forgot, um, I forgot some of them could actually play instruments. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. forget that that was what they I that, that was, was their thing before sexy was their thing. I forgot that was a thing. Um, but like she's heavily featured in that. But yeah. anyways, I just you know this song is to me not as good as uh, miniskirt or short hair, mm-hmm. but. It, it's still catchy. It's still very pleasant mm-hmm. uh, to the ears. And I kind of, I really enjoy AOA music videos for some reason. Like the yeah. way they shoot their dancing is like, it's it's really it's well. Really well. <clears throat> like it's yeah. a really good at like showing oh. all of them together. <clears throat> it, you know, it doesn't do a crazy amount of oh. cuts. And it's just, it, it's nice. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm, I, yeah, I agree with you like 100%, Steven. The, the thing about AOA and the why we I think like them is that their catchiness factor of their songs is just ridiculously high. Yeah. Even if you're not like an AOA fan, like just hearing like the la 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 that part was like fucking catch city. That is brave like, sound to a tizzle. That was that was the shit. Like yeah. when you think about kind of what made Sistar kind of popular with like double sidekick. Sure. Like Brave Sound has kind of done that for AOA. I feel like. Yeah. like, well, Brave Sound did do that for Sistar yeah, too. Yeah, she did. A, they did that for Sistar as well. Not but as, like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like Sistar, you know, they have a certain style. AOA has a certain style. Like AOA's, to me, individual members, they don't really have like, like something that really, really sets them apart. Yeah, yeah, I mean that that is something people say that's bad about yeah. Brave Sound songs. And we've said it before. Like yeah. the best part about some Brave Sound Sounds songs like, is that you, you don't, don't need, need to sing to know how to you sing. You don't well. need to know how to sing. So honestly, I don't know if AOA members can sing well because I, I've never like I don't yeah, listen to their really full albums to, yeah. and stuff. Maybe they're amazing singers. You know, yeah. like for example, Girls Day. Like yeah. I never thought Girls Day were particularly great singers because in their songs they don't really do it. Yeah. But like they later are, on, they are fantastic singers. Yeah, Girls we'll Day. talk about like Mina. Yeah. Uh, is featured in a song that we really like later in yeah. the lightning round and like it's surprising because wow. they don't need to do it in their in their lead singles yeah. but um yeah but AOA just embodies what I think um kind of people get into K-pop for well at least for girl groups is that they have a catchiness to them 
yep. and a dance that is also very catchy. Like yep. this, they this, usually have really easy, yeah. So like iconic-y this, kind yeah, of dance. this dance is kind of when you look at it, it's kind of ridiculous. Like they're like you know the cat, the cat thing, yeah. but it it really kind of fits like yeah. with the song. And the same thing with like short hair. They did the, this yeah, the dance. The hair bob. Yeah, the hair dance. like the hair shake. Ruffle, ruffle. ruffle. Yeah, yeah, hair yeah. ruffle. And the sh- like mini skirt. They had the, the zip up yeah. the skirt part. Like I, f- they have very catchy choreography points. They're not you know technically difficult necessarily, no. but they're just very like. Wh- which was also pleasing. the yeah. great part about mm-hmm. Sistar in the past when they were working with Brave Sound, like mm-hmm. when they did Alone and they did like the leg the leg raise mm-hmm. or like. Uh, when they kind of switched more to the double psychic songs, they kind of lost that like a little bit yeah. iconic y kind of dancing thing. Uh, yeah. But, uh, or, you know, like for example, you got the My Boy, yeah. you got the, the Wave, that's a brave yeah. sound. You got <laughs> um, the uh, Alone got her, Gone Not Around yeah, Anything. Whatever. Double, and but, the Butt Wave across the thing, yeah. that's, that's, that's brave sound too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or is that double psychic? No, I'm pretty sure if it, it's Sister 19 was always yeah, Brave Sound. I think Sister 19 was Brave Now, Sound. Brave Sound doesn't do choreography. Uh, yeah. I just think their songs his mm-hmm. match very well with, like, there's a specific point. It's like, here's the dancing part. Right. Uh, here's the... Because there's yeah. always, like, a ooh or a mm-hmm. da, da, da. You know, where a song, a break in the song where it's like, yeah. this is specifically where you should put a, a, a cool uh, dance. Like a catchy dance, yeah. 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 And honestly, that's kind of if you okay. I don't want to sound kind of like a fanboy, but if you look at like Girls Generation and their success, like SNSD, fanboy, like their songs were one catchy, and two they had a dance that people remembered, right? Like yeah. Hacky Sack Dance, like the Genie Arrow Dance, yeah, right. Yeah. And again, I think the, they lost that recently, yeah, and, and that's why that. they're and that's not, why they're kind of you yeah. know kind of falling out of it, in my opinion. Yeah. But AOA is doing all the things right. And, and it doesn't hurt that some of those girls are the sexy. <laughs> oh my god, Mama! Uh, I don't really. Uh... Solhyun, yeah. Solhyun, she is. She's. If you're watching a video version, she's the one right here. I may have strategically paused, paused the video it. At, when she at is a good making time. eye contact. Hmm. Yeah, that's not the sickness. And like you know, one of the reasons I think I've said it before uh, many episodes ago that the reason I discovered Sistar was because mm-hmm. I watched their. Uh, dance practice video my to boy. my boy. Same, right? Same. Where and they're like, dancing with those chairs. With the chair, it's very simple. Oh, it's very and like so sexy. AOA is one of the the few girl groups that actually release practice videos. Yeah, and they're yeah. like well shot practice videos. Mm-hmm. Like they have like the ones where they actually go in with the, the eye yeah. contact version is what they call yeah. it. And it's like I had never watched them before. Yeah. Um, because honestly, like we see, I see so many videos. Uh, there's so many girl groups, there's so many boy groups that I just don't know any of their names. I don't even focus on them individually mm-hmm. anymore. But uh, recently I have been, um, like for some random reason, one day I spent mm. a lot of time watching Red Velvet videos. Mm. Um, some of those girls are really cute. Yeah, a little really young, cute. but, but yeah, damn they're, cute. I mean, that's just, we're um, getting old. Just, yeah. yeah. And then like I watch a lot of AOA practice videos mm-hmm. and I was like, damn. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, um, these girls are fine. They yeah. are really attractive. So, uh, and, uh, you know, during, uh, one of my classes, you know, one of my male co-teachers likes to show, uh, the music videos yeah. and he showed the AOA video and all the boys, like, I wouldn't be surprised there if, if every single boy had a boner after that video, um, because there were some awkward, like sitting down after they watched that video. Yeah. They're, they're like sitting like, <laughs> yeah, but you, the thing is, you know, they, he would never, you know, he would never play girls generation video, right? He would yeah. never play an FX video. He, he would play. Girls Day or AOA, because that's yeah. what the uh, middle the, school to high school. Uh, that's what the like. little boys like. Yeah. And again, you know, as internationally, I think the age skews higher. Yeah. Um, but, you know, uh, I think a lot of people forget in Korea, it the this main is pop, target this is, is middle school music, yeah. to high school. It's not really for older people. Yeah. I mean, if you think about, I mean, the, even the states, right? Like pop music, most people listen to pop music, are they're going to be like, you know, 13 to 21. No. that age range no well i mean i i don't i think it's much broader in america like mm-hmm. all, all mm-hmm. of my friends still listen to i mean they don't like go out to but you turn on fucking the radio and it's like that's pop music yeah but i'm i'm pretty sure like college kids know of aoa is still like i have a lot of like sure sure yeah I guess. well anyways i, I mean that that's not 
too important of a social commentary. What's important is yeah. is that this is a great, great song. This is a really good song. Um, yeah. I'm happy that, you know, AOA, like, having three really good songs in a row is pretty rare, yeah. I think, in, in, in K-pop in general. I feel like they've um, had four good songs in a row, to be honest. Oh, they did I really have like yeah, yeah, I really like that song as well. I like that song, but not as much as... Um, not as much yeah, as uh, Short Hair and Miniskirt. Yeah, no. I think Miniskirt is probably my favorite. AOA you know, song. I can't actually... I need. I think I need to hear "Confused" again, because mm-hmm. I think I get that song and one of the Girls' Day songs confused. Mm, maybe. Um, but, uh, anyways, if you you know if you haven't checked them out yet, check out AOA yeah. and then go back and check out some of their original songs because it's totally fucking different. Yeah, it's really like AOA Black. Like that was really really different yeah, time. Their their very first song is so. Yeah. I mean, so different. Like if you if you think about like the girl groups that really benefited from the sexy wave like girls day and aoa are definitely on top well i would say they were the pioneers i wouldn't say pioneers they're sexy's always been sexy but not to that level though not to the uh, like previously i think like sexy would be like secret or or brown eyed girls but i mean brown eyed girls was really provocative also yeah but they weren't like this like scantily clad? I don't know. Like I remember Abracadabra for Brown Eyed Girls, and that that was supposed to be very kind of like sexy risque, and yeah. risque. I mean, of course, Gaian does her own thing, but like, yeah. but like now, you if you watch, like sometimes I'll watch an AOA video. I'm like, I would not feel comfortable watching this video in a group of like thirty middle school boys. Like, yeah, I think I that's don't... a little. It's a little. Yeah, you know? my my boys would ask for like you know. Uh, like girls' day videos or AOA videos, right. and I'm like, no, I'm showing you A Pink. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like let's come on, let's get it let's, wholesome, let's, children. Let's, I don't want, I don't want to be next to you when you have a boner. Like, yeah, I it's just, like, oh, I don't. Hmm. Well, speaking of boners, uh, the next group, so, yeah, next group, we'll have lady boners. So who's the yeah, next group? lady boners? So our next, uh, our next artists are GD and Taeyang with Good Boy. Yeah, GD and Taeyang, you know they're from a group. You know, Big Bang. Big Bang. They're kind of popular here. Uh, kind of. Um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, so how about you talk about uh, what you thought about this song okay. first. So um, this song, how do I describe it? It's a very, it's very GD-esque. Like this song definitely smells and looks and tastes of something that GD has his hands in mm-hmm. kind of deal. Um, but I think all Big Bang songs. Yeah, all Big Bang songs, at least as of as of late, um, definitely has the GD stamp of approval on it. It definitely has the GD visual stamp yeah. of approval. Um, so I'll talk about the song first, and I'll talk about the, the music video after. The sure. song itself, um, I actually kind of like it. It, it has a very catchy beat. Um, the rapping, I think, is well done. But um, as a song in general, I'm not going to be listening to this song like every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to be wanting to listen to this song in specific instances. Like when I want to kind of feel like kind of hyped or kind of get a club kind of feeling, you know, mm-hmm. like for a lot of Big Bang songs or a lot of like GD influence songs, I feel like they kind of go along with a certain mood. Like Bad Boy was kind of like, you know, walking along the street kind of deal. right? And Fantastic mm-hmm. Baby was definitely like a, like, get up, get jump, up. let's get up and jump kind of song. And this, I think, falls more into the Fantastic Baby style of, of things. Yeah. Now, the music video, um, I have not so great things to say about the music video. The music video was a colorful rainbow explosion onto clothes. And I don't, I just don't it's know It's just GD what's... doing. I mean, it's just they, they can get away with doing whatever they want yeah. now. So they do. Yeah. They... I, I'll say this, like, GD... And just Big Bang in general, they can just their fan base is just so devoted and loyal that they can really do almost anything. Kind of yeah. like with SNSD and their fan base, like SNSD, yeah. they can. But they don't really yeah. take advantage of that. Yeah, that much. Yeah, but I I honestly think though that like GD and Taeyang, like they are eccentric like this. Like this is what they do. Like this is what they do on a regular basis. Like yeah, I mean nowadays. Yeah, like, nowadays maybe not. You go back to some old Big Bang stuff, and yeah, it's yeah. like I miss, <laughs> I miss normal Big Bang. Yeah, but like GD and Taeyong, especially nowadays, like we always joke around, like oh we'll never see them wear these outfits out on the street, but yeah. they wear these outfits out on the yeah. street. Like, GD, GD more than like I see GD pictures yeah. on all K-pop. That's like, 
what the fuck is this wearing, dude wearing? Are you wearing a live baby panda yeah. on your head? Like, But it's GD, and people are GD. like, he's so sexy. He works it. And it's like, I don't understand that kind of devotion. to Like, mm. if, like, the hottest girl my like I can think of, right? Mm -hmm. If she wears a weird-ass outfit, like, I, I say am that's not a, a person. Outfit. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah. that's weird, and it looks strange. But yeah. for some reason, like, that's mm. not, you know... Sorry, fangirls. I, I just don't personally understand that kind of devotion to someone yeah. so much that, that they can be like, oh, God, he looks so hot in this. And it's like, yeah. does he? He looks like a reject from fucking Willy Wonka. Like, like I, I, don't, I don't understand how yeah. it looks good. Like, other than his face. Like, of course, Taeyang's a sexy dude. Yeah. Of course, GD's a cute dude. I, I just don't understand the... Yeah, like the, the, like the Taeyang hairstyle that he's kind of just like... Oh, I just got out of the shower. That is a terrible... It looks like he has a... Like, oh, my goodness. It's like he has an undercut, <laughs> and he's just drafting his hair over his undercut. Yeah, it's, it looks really terrible. Um, but Big Bang and GD and Taeyang will be themselves, and that's kind of what they do. So you can't really hate because people like it. Yeah. But me and Steven can say, we don't like it. Yeah. My rule is always like, if this was <coughs> any other group wearing this thing, I don't think a single person would like it. But yeah. it's only because it's GD and Taeyang. Uh and, and I just want people I just would hope people could be like, oh that yeah, I still like it. That's fine. You can like it. It's yeah. just it would be nice it to me if you'd be like, I like it because I know it's GD and Taeyang. Not because this is a good outfit. Because yeah. it's not. Yeah, um, it's it's one thing to say like, oh yeah, that's a good outfit. And it's another thing to say like, oh yeah, I really like G D and I really like his style. Like Sure. This is centric style. And like we can be like, okay, well then we disagree, but <laughs> hey, at least. But he's a good real. rapper. He is a good yeah. rapper. He's a very good producer. Very um, good. I didn't really talk about the song yet. All but right. like uh I, I think I definitely like the song less than you. Mm. Um I, I think for um well, you know, we were talking about this earlier, and it's like I, I was so happy about YG because like, we were talking about how, yeah. like, when you have That's so right. many groups under your umbrella, like, why don't they collaborate more? Like, yeah, it, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why don't they do more? And YG's finally like, yeah, yeah why don't they collaborate yeah. more? And he's doing it. And and yeah. I was like, that's amazing. But when they revealed it was GD and Taeyong, I'm like, GD and Taeyong fucking collaborate They're all the damn friends. time. They're best friends. Like, come on. Right? Like, yeah, why are you not pairing GD with an Icon member? Why are you not pairing yeah. Taeyong with a winner member? Like... That, that doesn't make sense yeah. to me. Like, I was really excited because when Epic High came out, it was like, oh, Epic High. Oh, man. And they have this whole stable of rappers. I was really excited mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. And it turned out to meet my expectations. I was mm -hmm. really happy about that. And uh, with another song, also, they have another collaboration. We'll yeah, talk about that song later. I was excited for that song as well. Yeah. And this, when I was like, okay, GD and, and Taeyang, great. And I was like, okay, and who else? And yeah. it was like, oh, just GD and Taeyang? Oh, yeah, I, I'm excited, but, I mean, like, it's you, like if, saying, it was, if it was GD, Taeyang, and the dude from Akmu, I'll be like, that sounds interesting That would be fuck. crazy, right? Yeah. Like, because with me, YG as a label can do this a lot better than JYP or SM or any other label because, one, YG, their artists are very famous for being, like, solo artists. Right. When you look at SM, like they don't really have very strong solo artists, right? Yeah, yeah. Like especially male solo artists. I mean, a there was a lot more coming these the days. The last one was Boa, really. Like, yeah. They really are not known. Yeah, they're not. For they're their not known. Solo -y careers. So they can't really do things like this. And JYP, yeah, you have solo people or groups that have. Yeah, you but know, not you know two PM members. I mean, right. they do solo things every once in a while. But yeah, but it's not. It's not, it's not like YG. That, it's not like YG. Like it's not like if Taeyong put out a song, it's gonna be just as popular as like next group, right? Sure. Like, like we just saw, you know, the Super Junior guys, mm -hmm. you know, Zaomi, uh, Henry. But it's not the same. Yeah. You know, as it's as, not the uh, same. So YG, I'm you know we were talking about this. YG definitely needs to do more of that. Yeah. I think. They have more collaborations. There's one up. more. There's supposed to be yeah. one more, I think. But so the only reason I bring that up was that, like, I just, it just sounded like another, like, uh, like a B-side track to a Big Bang album or, or a G-Dragon album. Like, yeah. it just sounded like G-Dragon featuring Taeyong. Um, and and yeah. that was kind of it. Like, it was just kind of boring to me. Taeyong didn't have a lot to do or say in this song. Yeah, he was just the chorus guy, which <coughs> is usually the featured, yeah. you know, like. Just kind of sings and whatever. It just sounded like a song that. Maybe he was like, I mean, we could put this on my album, but, you know, 
Yeah, well, just like, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I appreciate the beat. I mean, it's a very Western beat. Yeah. Which, you know, to me, it's like, I've kind of heard that beat before, and I've heard way better beats than this, I think. Uh, but as far as, like, K- the K-pop scene, I think there's a lot of little girls out there that this, that, is, this like is their first taste. Heard, They're like, yeah. damn, this is so cool and so interesting. And, and I don't know why. And, yeah. And and that's that's cool, I guess, that's you know? That's cool, yeah. Because um, GD is kind of like the Korean, like... Front, he's kind of the frontier in terms yeah, of hip hop, of hip hop, and bringing that of American. I, I, I should flavor. say, yeah, American flavor. Yeah. Like, and you know, he works with a lot of American producers. Yeah. And, but you mentioned this, like, like this song is kind of similar to Memboon. Yeah, Memboon, uh, M- that one CL solo song. Yeah, from Twenty One's album, and yeah. like, I, but I like that beat drop way yeah, more. Yeah, that than beat, this one. that beat is definitely better than this one. I have to say, this one's a little esoteric, and I don't think it has enough oomph to it. Yeah. You know. G Dragon says what? He, what does he say during this song? A thousand Sha-da-da-da. times. Sha da da da. And it's just like, what? <laughs> what is that? What, I, what I is actually th- like that part. Sha da da da. It's just, I mean, before we started recording, you were saying this every fucking every, five, like, five minutes. Every five minutes. Sorry. Um, but like to me, it's it's just like what is that? What is he's just like in the it, it's like a little Wayne noise in the middle of his song, just like, like or like, or like you know, yeah, like little John. What you know? It's just yeah. like oh, I don't like that. But you know, uh, overall though, I, I didn't think. God damn, I keep hitting this mic. But uh, I think overall, it, it's not a bad song. Like I've heard way more GD songs where I'm just like, what oh, the I fuck? Just, uh, I don't like this. Um, uh, will I download it? Probably not. Um. Ooh, will I download this song? Probably, I would probably download this song. Probably wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay for it. But but again, like I think that's a really good point. Like that, YG has a chance to do so many interesting collaborations, especially with with Icon and Winner. Yeah. Um, like number one, a differentiating something. Like I, I think, you know, Bi and Bobby. They are like are really, really are really the trend. Really the trend, but like I don't know a single dude from Winner other than Mino. Yeah, and and even Mino, I I don't really know, know that too much about, much about him. him. Yeah, um, and again, I don't know really anything about Icon, but they haven't debuted yet, so that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Uh, but like, where are the other Winner guys at? Bring them out, you know. Yeah. Like, this is your chance to promote your new age with your old age. Yeah. Like. Why put GD and Taeyeon together? It's like, wh- time why? to train your youngins with your veterans. Yeah. You? Like if it was GD and CL, that would be really cool. I think that would be pretty crazy. Actually, I was one. They kind of speculated like uh, GD came out first, and I was like, "Oh, is it going to be another GD top, or maybe GD CL, or maybe like a GD Bobby?" And that, then it was GD Taeyeon, cool. and I was a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna uh, lie. I will say I don't think for some reason to me like when I think of Born Hater, right? Yeah. I don't think GD style is that style. Yeah. Which I think Bobby style is like that. Yeah. Um. So I think a GD Bobby would be really strange to me. Like, yeah. th- it'd be like, th- I don't, I don't mean to be offensive right here, but I think Bobby style is actually really hip hop, and GD style is like wannabe faux hip hop. Bobby definitely is like more like like of, more is rough. He's rough around the edges. Like he he, when he kind of raps like hard. You're just like, okay, I believe it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then again, I, I probably would have said the same thing about Mino uh, until I heard him on on uh, on uh, Born, Born Hater. Hater. Mm-hmm. So, like, maybe GD can do that, too. I just never heard it from him. But, mm. you know, in my head, GD is always this GD, which yeah. doesn't match with... with uh, Like, eccentric, like, I'm a weirdo kind yeah. of GD. Yeah. But that matches with CL, because they yeah. kind of have the same They're image. both kind of weirdos. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I'm hoping the next collaboration, or if they do more, like I really hope it's more interesting than GD and Taeyeon yeah. because, like, they do. what if, what if it was like Top and Bi? I don't think Top works with anybody except for like GD. <laughs> except for GD. Like he'll only get out of bed for GD. Other than that, he's like I'm acting, guys. Peace. Yeah, but I really want to hear Top rap again. Doom da da. I don't know. I, I guess I was never a huge huge fan of. I well, I really like GD and Top's collaboration. That was fantastic. Oh, I, I liked. I thought that it was meh. Really, on that album, I liked maybe half the songs at least. To me, I've never heard the album. I've only heard the the singles. Well, I mean, that's like half the. Oh, is that half, half the, the album? Oh, yeah. no, they put out like seven songs, and you've like three or four of them. That's half the album. Yeah, I, I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really like it that much. Um, Sowie. Uh, but let's move on to another collaboration. Mm-hmm. Another blank X blank. 
And uh, this would be a Starship collaboration. And they're doing great with that. Yeah, this is uh, Hyorin from Sistar uh, with uh, Ju Yong, which is a new artist. Or I think he was an artist that debuted a while ago, but then recently moved to Starship. Yeah. Um, so it. Hyorin and Ju Yong featuring Lion with their song Erase. Mm. Now, this song started really slow to me. Yeah. And then, because I, I was like, We've talked about it before, like why does Soyu get all the features, like all the collaborations? Yeah. And it's like, oh well, her voice kind of really match. It's, it's not well, overpowering, yeah. like Hyorin's voice overpowering. Yeah. And so when they announced this collaboration, I was like, oh man, this might be a little weird. Yeah, this is gonna be because we don't really know too much about this guy. Yeah, right. and you see his kind of face, and he's like kind of a cute boy, and it's like, yeah, he's. It doesn't. It looks like he's about to be overpowered by Hyorin's like healthy yeah. voice, right? And then he starts singing, and it's like, this is amazing. It's like cream. It's cream. Milk. Yeah. The, their voices, number one, they're, this is a real duet. This is yeah. a real collaboration. They're yeah. singing, like, not like verse and then chorus. They're singing, like, one two line lines, of a verse. Yeah, two, two lines, two lines. Yeah. Two lines, two lines, going in and out, back and forth, like, growing <sighs> together as the song goes on. And it... That is amazing. It's, it's so good. It's really so good. Yeah. The like, only reason uh, it's not my favorite song is just because it's it's not. I just like the more happy AOA yeah. kind of like woohoo songs more yeah. than this. But this is definitely my second favorite song. I think. you know I'm I'm really with you on that, Stephen, because um, this was the second song out of three songs that I was really having a hard time with. Like, okay, what's gonna be my favorite song? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. out, out of those three, I know you're gonna pick one. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's gonna be song A or song B, whatever's left. And this was kind of what's left, but this is also my second favorite song of this week. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's their amazing voices song. are yeah. so good together. Um, and you know, a lot. I read a lot of comments. I was like, oh, I try to be troublemaker, and I'm like. Just because you have a dude and a girl dancing together doesn't make a troublemaker. Um, but is this song 18 times better than that? What was that one with the dude and two girls? Oh, Knock? Not was yeah, the, it was not, the it song was, was Knock or the group was Yeah, the was song not? was Knock. And who was the the threesome? I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was a threesome. Something. Like the girl from Nine Muses. Yeah. And... That was... I mean, I remember the song being okay-ish. Yeah, the song was okay, but that was really awkward in terms of like yeah. chemistry and like all that business. But this song, totally on another level. Yeah, like, uh, like the song itself, like vocally, the the chemistry is fantastic. And also yeah. in the music video, their like relationship chemistry seems very natural. Yeah, in my yeah. mind. And there's a lot of it's just cool scenes of like like two kind of two different versions of both Yorin and and, and uh, uh, Juyong, and and it's just I don't know. It's just so it. It, it was good. It was great. Yeah, it was exactly what you want to see from a, like a duet. Yeah. yeah. Now I feel a little bad because this is not really the type of song that makes it big in Korea. Yeah. You know, they like the more the Soyu songs more. Yeah. Where it's more upbeat and more happy and more yeah. fun. But the songs is like kind of like about cheating and like I'm not the person you think I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not a good person. And it's like, okay, I don't <laughs> I don't know how I can relate with that. Yeah. But everyone can relate with like falling in love and all that mm -hmm. bubbly mm -hmm. business, All right. But I, I will say, like, you know, my fear was, of course, that Hyorin would overpower him. But, like, that never happens in this video, never. in this song. It's just, just listen to it. I hope you do. I really hope um, you give this a shot. Because this is, me and Steven's, like, yeah. this is very well could have been, like, you know, one of one of our songs of the week. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, GD's going to get 10 million, of course. Yeah, you're, you're AOA's going to get yeah, a, you're gonna watch millions. Those. Yeah. Uh, this song is probably, probably the much. lowest viewed, maybe the lo tied to be near the the bottom uh, two of the lowest viewed of the six we're going to talk about. Yeah, and uh, it makes me a little sad. But this song is really fantastic. You really should like Starship is really stepping up their game in terms of like collaborations. Yeah, doing yeah. really well. Good job. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that brings us to the middle section where we want to thank all our listeners. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you're a new listener because. Uh, maybe you from Drama Fever. You hey. just you subscribe to our channel and you're like, hey, let's check out what these guys do. Uh, this might be your first time. I uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but we also want to thank all the people that gave us a review on iTunes. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe you're a video uh, watcher and you're like iTunes. Why would I need to listen on iTunes? 
I don't know why it's Texan. That's just because I'm from Texas. He's from Texas. Um, you know, because you can listen to us when you're driving to work, you're on the bus to school, you can listen to us during class. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah. Like doing the dishes. Yeah. Like um, a lot of people will like to have some sort of background noise. Yeah. While they're doing something, and we could be your background noise. We could be noise. your background noise. Like, I, I listen to podcasts all the time when I'm, you know, washing the dishes, if I ever yeah. do. If I'm ever cleaning my room, which I have not been uh, recently. Um, and when I walk, you know, walk to work, walk back, like, I'm always listening to podcasts. And yeah. so, uh, we want to thank, of course, we got one uh, new review uh, yeah. since last episode. And it's, uh, why don't you read it, since all I right. talk too much. So, it's uh, from uh, Just Jay It, and he or she says... As a very new fan of K-pop, I'm amazed and thankful at how easy and entertaining these guys are to listen to. Thank you. They never make me feel out of the loop. They're respectful of the artists they talk about. They're clear and concise when they talk. And they're funny. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's more than what I would describe us. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we're respectful most of the time. <laughs> uh, we're actually quite disrespectful most of the time. But That's we do, true. I mean... We Shut do. that out! Shut that out! We are respectful of them as artists because yeah. we know how hard it is to be a K-pop yeah. artist. And, true enough. Um, we do respect them for that, but yeah. if we don't like something, we'll, we'll say it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it goes on to say, you know, yeah, we, we don't talk about boy groups too much, much yeah. but somehow uh, uh, Jay doesn't mind. Yeah. So we want to thank you, Jay, for leaving us a review. It really, really helps us on, uh, on the search engine. And uh, and just giving us some feedback, you know, it, it really makes us feel better when uh, kind of yeah. people tell us we do an okay job. Yeah, um, you know, it makes us come in when we're sick, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, that's kind of what we do this for, so that uh, you guys can uh, discover some some new music. Yeah. Hopefully, and maybe get a, a different side of the coin from uh, yeah. most of the other K-pop personalities uh, yeah. out there. Yeah, because Steven and I, you know, we both like K-pop, but we like a little bit more, I guess, not so popular K-pop. Yeah, and, but I also think we're yeah. just, I'm I'm particularly just not a fanboy, fangirl mm. of, of, of anybody to the point where, you know, it, yeah. Sistar really sits on, it sucks balls, I'm yeah. going to tell you. And sometimes when we hear a song, we're just like, oh, people need to listen to this song. Yeah. And that's kind of why we do this podcast. Yep, yep, yep. So if yeah. you have not, it would be really, really great if you can just go to iTunes, leave us a review, leave yeah. whatever you want, write us a message, say what's up. Hate we'll, us and love us. We'll read your name and, yeah. uh, and of course, your message on yeah. this podcast. Yeah. Um, all right. Moving on to Josh. What is your favorite song of the last two weeks? So my favorite song of the last two weeks is actually another YG collaboration. Uh, they're called Hi Suhyun. Featuring Bobby with I'm Different, Nantala. Yes, yeah, so he says, of course, Lehigh, solo artist that we haven't heard from in a while. From yeah, YG. and I was really... I kind of forgot about her. I, I did as well. I knew she was a good singer, but I just wasn't expecting anything from yeah. her. Yeah, Suhyun from Akmu, Akdong Musician. We love Akdong Musician. Yeah, and Bobby from... Uh, Icon. Icon, yeah. or just Soon being Bobby, be Icon, being yeah. a beast. Just Bobby being, show me the money, Bobby. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what did why did you pick this song? So this song has oh my goodness everything that I love about K-pop. Um, it's got a it's got a good beat. It's well produced and just amazing amazing vocals. Like Lehigh, she like every time I, I I listen to her sing, I'm like, how does that voice come from that small body of yours? I don't understand. Her voice is freaking ridiculous. Yeah, like, it's so good. And, like, obviously, I love Su Yun's voice um, from, uh, from Akmu. Akmu. She's, she does a wonderful job. And I was really, really happy when I was like, oh, it's Lehigh and, and you know, Su Yun. So, Bobby, I was like, okay, I guess they do need a rapper for this group. And Bobby, Although they do try some rapping in here. Like that weird awkward yeah. Akmu rapping. Ba, 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 it's ba, like, ba, 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 right. ba, ba, yeah. ba. Like, yeah. like elementary school playground rapping. Yeah. yeah. I go first, and then you go, and then <laughs> I go. <laughs> like, that yeah. kind of. Yeah. But um, the song is just really, really fantastic. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm really sucker for songs that have, like, horns or, like, percussion instruments that are... Uh, it's kind of real, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't. I guess you would say not like a like a keyboard music. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also if they have like any orchestra elements into it, I like when kind of hip hop songs or pop songs are like mixed in with classical songs. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. those are really, really like really interesting. 
And for the music video, um, it's just, it's really really like it's a really cute. It's really cute. Like it's exactly like the it's the Akmu style of music video that we had with um, what was that song? Give love, give, give love. love. Is it give love? They they released like a couple of that. Yeah, they were they were really, they had very really similar music. They're really good, and this is the kind of like okay, we're trying to chase after this guy, and yeah. we're being like borderline stalkerish. They're not borderline. <laughs> They're, They're stalkerish. stalkers. Yeah, but but the thing is like you know Su Su Hyun you know from Akmu, she's really young. She's like 15. I thought she was older. She's fucking fifteen. That's crazy to <laughs> yeah, me. She's fifteen, but she she does such a good job of acting like a fifteen year old in this video. It's like it's ridiculous. Yeah, Lehigh's better. She's better right. than she was before. Mm -hmm. Still a little awkward though. Yeah. Still a little awkward. Uh, but it's so cute. And it's so cute. I think it plays into it because like Lehigh is supposed to be like awkward. Yeah. And like okay, you're awkward and you're acting awkward. Well, it works out then. And you know, Bobby. I mean, we talked about it. Like to me, he kind of got rat face a little bit. He's got a little rat facey. But yeah. there are some points where that dude looks fucking smooth as butter. Like yeah. Um. And I can totally understand why people really like him. Yeah. Um. He he really feels shoehorned into this song though. Like he he only raps for like fifteen okay, seconds. Fifteen seconds. Um. But but this song that's a good need, amount. Yeah. This song doesn't amount. need any more than like fifteen seconds of rapping. Yeah. I do have to say it kind of needs that. It needs a little. It needs a little something in different, right? I uh, okay. I I will say it, it was a perfect amount, and it mm -hmm. wasn't. Super like born, you know, born hater style. It was it, it matched decently well with the song. I thought, yeah. um, but even if he was just featured in the video, like that's still enough, you know, to get yeah. his name and his face out there. Um, As but, if you needed any help, Bobby is just killing. Well, I think it, in international. Mm. Well, I, I I actually don't know for sure, but I know he's huge in Korea. I, I don't mm. actually know how crazy. Pop like, do a lot of international people watch Show Me the Money? I, I don't. I know don't that. know. I don't think so. Uh, maybe they watch Mix and Match though. Mm. Um, but I, I will say I like this song in theory more than I like the actual song. Like I, I like Lehigh's voice is amazing. Uh, Soo Young's voice is, is really great. Like she's got a very particular style to it. Mm -hmm. But the actual song, I was kind of eh to yeah, it. It's a, it's a good song, um, but it didn't meet expectations. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I don't even know what a good song between them would, would actually yeah. be. Uh, again, you, even in Acme, I'm, I'm not a fan of that kindergarten rapping. Mm. I just think it's a little, like, like, it, like out of place. Like, especially when both of them mm. have such great voices. Mm. I just don't know why YG songs always got to have it's like, some kind of It's like there. Michael Jordan playing baseball. I don't know. Like, Michael Jordan stick to playing basketball. Like, you shouldn't be okay. playing baseball kind of deal, right? Okay. Like, Lehigh, you, you shouldn't be rapping. You should be singing kind okay. of deal, right? Okay, all right, maybe. I, I, that it's makes like a little Jordan. more sense. It's like Michael Jordan playing baseball. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like no, Jordan no, 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 that makes perfect sense to me. Michael Jordan playing baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, -da -da -da. I'm really happy, though, for this collaboration. Like, it really was like, Lehigh, girl, I haven't seen you in so long. You still alive, Chiku? So they got like an old artist. They got a new, like up and coming artist, hmm. like uh, that. That similar style. Similar yeah. styles, and they got like a dude who, again, is even newer than that. And it's such a good way to to remind people of certain artists, and also to introduce you to new artists. It's like young blood, you know. You gotta get yeah. some young blood in there. Like I don't know how popular Akmu really is internationally. Yeah. Like their they their last album was gigantic in Korea, but yeah, I, but you know, I really don't internationally. Know. It's we yeah. Since we've moved to Korea, obviously we are, we're a little bit more in touch with like the Korean trends and the Korean general sentiment for songs. But we have lost touch with the well. Honestly, in America, community. I lived in fucking Texas, and all my friends think I'm a fucking idiot for liking K-pop. So I, n I never knew what anyone else thought, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to start this podcast was because there are a lot of people I think living in a, a, all different places around the world without someone to kind of talk about with K-pop. No. Um, that's definitely changing now. Mm -hmm. Like, like so many people know about K-pop now in America. It's it's kind of weird. Cause it's kind of like that weird. selfish thing where it's like, but I, I heard like about them it before first. the people. Everyone liked them. Yeah, like when I um, like Fall Out Boy before they were. Popular. I did like Fall Out Boy before they. Were yeah, popular. I did as well. That's why. And then I don't like their new stuff. Yeah, I don't like them anymore. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you know. Uh, really interesting maybe if they'll even do more things right we don't even know they if it's do. a one-off or, or or something like that but it would be so cool like it would be so cool for them to have like a yearly collaboration mini album 
Mm. Like, this is YG collabs number one. It doesn't even have to be many songs. Four to six songs of just collaborations every every year. That would be... Like... That would be just <clears throat> instant money. I just don't not, know why they I, don't do it. And not like a Christmas collaboration no. like, you know, like Starship does. But like, when you think about it, they could easily do this. Like, other other companies, especially... Actually, all companies, when they have like their... You know, company concert. Sometimes they have like yeah, they have know, a lot of collaboration yeah. stages. Like and, SM has yeah. SM Town for the longest time, yeah. but that's just not the same thing, right? Yeah, uh, that's just them all getting together to sing a boring ass ballad song. Yeah, um, unless it's Hotmail, which is the greatest song in the world. That's not um, true. It is. It is <laughs> my favorite true. song in the world. Uh, maybe maybe second to my boy. Anyways, uh, let's move on. Let's move on to uh, we've been we've been pretty hype. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the opposite of hype. Yeah. Um, it's a shame. It's a shame. But I think the international, I think the audience will definitely differ on our opinion. Yeah. To Got Seven's new song, Stop Stop It. Hajima Hajima. I don't know why it came out that way. Haji Hajima. Haji Haji. Or sorry, let me turn on Haji Hajima. <laughs> he does like the guy that they smoke too much and he's got to yeah. put the put the thing yeah, through his voice. Yeah, Steven. Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, so Got Seven. Um, uh, personal history, like I didn't really like girls, girls, girls as much as you did, but yeah. I did like it. Like I thought, yeah. you know, it, it, it was, was a little. Debut. It was a. Li- it was a great debut. It was yeah. a, the the. It was a little two p.m. light, um, which they've since kind of mm-hmm. uh, not really done. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I really really liked A, um, and so hey. I, yeah, I was starting to be like okay. Let's see what Got Seven. seven. I want to see what they bring because we've seen a lot of boy groups and you guys are really fun and I liked you. Yeah. And then I heard this song. And I was really so disappointed. So disappointed. I just, I just don't like this song. Just plain and simple. Um, Mm. I've never been a fan of auto tune, and I know this is an auto tune. It's quote unquote vocalization, vocording, or vote. I don't know what the proper term is. I don't like. It's like this. playing that tube like Snoop Dogg. Yeah. It's like what that Mina, you know that that Mika, Kasu, yeah. whatever the voc- Vocaloid. Uh, it's maybe it's called Vocaloid. Whatever. Mm. I just don't like that effect. Like maybe if it's a little bit in your song, but it is in a third of the song, yeah. and it just it destroys the chorus to me. Um, but, and the chorus would be really good without it, I think. I think it, it would. I don't. I don't want it to be really good, but it would definitely be better. Uh, um, and like, it's still kind of a fun video, but it's not a fun video like A was. Yeah. Um, it. I don't really understand this video in the slightest. He falls through like a worm this alternate. Hole. I don't know. The alternate future. Ri- I don't know. But there's there are future students, uh, and their apparently overalls have come made back. A comeback. Um and like. 90s chains and like no, like it's like the 90s but like it's like what the it's like what the the 90s thought the future would kind of be it's yeah. it's weird um I, I didn't think the song was particularly catchy like the dancing was okay i was very disappointed with the dancing um as this week in k-pop's resident dancer i was yeah. very very disappointed with the choreography like um so girls, girls, girls. The choreography was amazing, and it was shot really well. It like that music really video well. was shot really well. Yeah. Girls, girls, girls. And a uh, the choreography wasn't as technically difficult, but I do have to say it was very fun. Yeah, it made me want to copy it. But this one just, it's just like it's simple and it's boring and it's not catchy. Is the problem? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <clears throat> I just, I just didn't like it. Um, I just didn't get much personality from it. Um. At all. I don't know. I, I don't really know what to say. Yeah. Uh, I, I know internationally, like, GOT7 is really big. Like, the YouTube numbers yeah. on, on GOT7 videos always surprise me because they're freaking huge. Yeah. They're so big, but Korean people like, don't no. give a fuck about GOT7, a lot of, guys. A lot of, like, middle school girls, they won't even know who GOT7 is. Except recently <clears throat> with uh, Jackson, I think. Yeah, because he's on roommate. Yeah. On roommate and being on more variety shows. Yeah. But, like... They don't know Got Seven. Like my yeah. my middle school girls just don't know them no. in the slightest. No. Like, like they, they kind of heard A, but yeah. like like for example, we play a K-pop game every once in a while where they gotta like they, they get the English lyrics and they gotta guess the song. Yeah. Um, and so you know they they get Beast, they get Vix, they get 
uh, you know, Big Bang they get, XO they get, uh, uh, whatever, Super Junior. They, they get all, BTS, all these groups. They get yeah. BTS. They get uh, even some smaller groups, like Boyfriend. They'll get Boyfriend. They'll get yeah. BAP. Um, they they don't they never get the God Seven one. They never get the God um, Seven one. And it, so it's so surprising to me just how many people watch them internationally, um, and which is good because I again I thought they they had a great debut and they had a great follow up, but this song was this not song good. This song was not good. Yeah, disappoint all around. Yeah. And that's probably the harshest will be of this episode. Yeah, um, which is really, really strange because this these past two weeks have been just chalk load, full yeah. of good songs, and I was really expecting more from GOT7. I was just really disappointed. Yeah, we will talk about later about a group that sings a pretty good song that yes. would go great as a GOT7 song. Yes. So don't worry. I know we don't talk about boy groups that much, but we do talk about some good ones in the lightning round later. Um, so let's move on to the last song. What is so the last our song? last song that we're going to talk about in depth is Mamamoo with Piano Man. Mamamoo, Mamamoo, don't call me Mama, Mister Mama, Mama. Mama. So again, if you're a new listener to our podcast, like Mamamoo is hands down the best rookie group I have heard in a this long, year. yeah, in a long time, probably even say. last year. Yeah. There's maybe a group in there that I just am not remembering. Yeah, probably. But, Mamamoo, amazing. All right. Now, really amazing. I, I think their song quality has gone down each yeah. subsequent release. Yeah. But I still really like their the, the song with Bum Key. <laughs> yeah. Really like choc- uh, Chocolate Peppermint. Cho- yeah. Peppermint Pepper Chocolate. chocolate. Cho- choc- peppermint. Yeah, I think Don't Be Happy is the one with... Yeah. Um, with Bum Key. I really, I really like uh, Mr. Ambiguous or Ambitious. Ambiguous. Ambiguous, Mr. MMO. Like, it's, they're great. They're amazing. Mm-hmm. So when they came out with a new song, I was like, it's on. It, I, I thought it was like, oh, it's going to be AOA. I was like, nah, I got to listen to this Mama Moose song. Yep. Um, now, uh, I still think it's a good song. Like, yeah. compared to a lot of girl groups now, mm-hmm. um, I still, Mama was still on top for me. Like yeah. this song, like their vocals are, are amazing. Um, a weird tangent, like I did download Mama Moo's mini album oh. and like I was like all ready for like Mama Moo's style, but like the other three songs I didn't listen to or I hadn't heard previous to that, they were like all like kind of hardcore rap songs. Yeah. It was a really weird. It was really strange. Yeah, it was really strange. Um, and there's a little bit of that, like the, one of the the rappers in here kind of, she gets after she, it. She gets, she does yeah. little, does a little ditty in there, mm-hmm. but, uh, it's, this song is not as catchy as some of the other songs, but it's, yeah. I still think it's a great song. I still yeah. I really, I, this is my, uh, do I like this song more than high school young? Uh, maybe, maybe I do. It's probably your third. Yeah. Maybe song. my third favorite song after Hyoden mm-hmm. and AOA, but like, I'm still going to download the song. Um, and I don't actually download that many songs. Mm. Um, uh, the music video is kind of cool. It's yeah, it's cool, but I'm just not. I don't know. Uh, they do a great job of always introducing the members and yeah. like telling you their names, which I still don't know why. Uh, uh, more like kind of the new tier, like you know, groups don't do like. Uh, so I kind of I I mean I don't know all their names, but I you know at least know mm-hmm. one of their names is mm-hmm. Solar. <laughs> yeah, the, the key one. Um, I don't know. What do you think? You didn't really say much. So uh, the song itself is it's very good, but it's just lacking that catchiness to it. Uh, their voices are really really fantastic, um, and I really really like the style of voice they have. It's kind of doo wop Yeah, I really like the backing track, like the yeah. piano backing track. I really like it. Yeah, uh, but besides that, it's missing a certain catchiness to it that really kind of will put it over the edge for me. Um, this is probably not in my top three favorite mm-hmm. songs of this week. And the music video is... It is... It's, it's their a, most I, traditional one, though. Yeah, it's very... Um, I feel like they're getting like more and more generic, and I hope they don't go that route because mm-hmm. uh, a big qualm we have like with another group, uh, Spica, or Spica, is that... We thought like, oh yeah, they're starting to do their own thing, and they went generic, and we were really disappointed. Yeah. And I hope I don't have to say that about Mama Moo with their next release, but this song is like getting a little bit there. I, I can get what you're saying. Yeah. I really, it's weird, but I really think they 
can col- if they can collaborate again, like their next song needs to kind of be a collaboration with like if it was Bum Key yeah. or with like uh, someone Virgil, from brand somebody, new, I guess. Yeah, anyone from brand like Sonny. Although I think Sonny you know, would be yeah, kind of that'd weird. Be, that'd be kind of I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, cause they don't need a a Bum Key singer, even though they did it with K Will and yeah. um, Hui Sung uh, for yeah. Peppermint Chocolate. Like, I don't know. I still really enjoy them. Like I. We've said, I think we, you know, we've said it before, but like, I don't get too hyped for that many groups anymore. But uh, still, next Mama Moo release, they still got one more chance at least for me. They they didn't blow this chance. Yeah, they didn't blow it. Got seven on the other hand. They kind of blew it. I'm not so excited about their next release anymore. Kinda so blew it. Yeah. I, I don't know. All right, well that's it for our main section. Now we'll move on to our lightning round where we talk about a bunch of videos that we didn't necessarily think we needed a whole, you know, yeah. 10 to 15 minutes on. I mean, we could have liked the song, but besides liking just the song, we probably didn't have much to say about yeah. it. Right? So our first lightning round song is a brand new group. We try to talk about the brand new groups, at yeah. least in the lightning round. At least try to. And it's by uh, Woolen Entertainment, I think. Yes, yeah, new girl group, Lovelies, with a Z at the end. Um, they released two songs, uh, Good Night Like Yesterday and Candy Jelly Love. Um, oh. Now, you can go first, Josh. Go first. Oh, I didn't like these. You you thought I would, didn't you? I didn't think Jingus. you would. You I, I, I didn't would, think didn't you would you, not Chingus? like it as much as you do. You thought I'd like these, didn't you, Chingus? Because I liked SNSD and A-Pink. But these ones, I felt, were too, like... I felt like they're trying too hard to be cute. They're trying too hard to be innocent. And it's like, uh... I mean, I don't think they tried any harder than Girls like Into the New World. Yeah. Or original, you know, yeah. original A-Pink. Probably not, but it's just... Uh, may, maybe I'm... I My cha- my tastes have changed, changed, or like, I'm just... I just don't fall for it anymore, but... Maybe. I just didn't fall for or it. Or maybe none of the girls really stuck out <coughs> to you, so you can't latch on it. You know, anyway. Yeah, that's probably it actually, because that's kind of what happens sometimes if girl groups. Um, I mean, it's very shallow, well. but it's like if I don't find them hot, right? Like, or yeah, you, you may not latch so, on. Right? I mean, yeah, let's let's not kid ourselves. A lot of a lot of it is like, oh, who's this new group? Oh, that person is attractive. Sure, I'm gonna go start looking about them, and then you learn a little bit of things like, oh, they had, well, they did debut two years ago or something like that. Yeah, and none of these girls really stuck out to me. Huh. Huh. I mean, I I kind of I don't want to say it was gr- there it was great, um, but I enjoyed the good night like yesterday song and I mm. decently okay with Candy Jelly Love. The, the English is video. awful, um, really terrible. I just don't think it's as bad as you as, as you think it is. Like it's I, not. I mean, it's not like oh my ears are bleeding, but it's just like oh, I'm not feeling this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I don't want to say I I'm, I was feeling it, yeah. but. I've seen, definitely seen worse debuts. Definitely have seen worse. It was definitely a generic, you know, as generic as you can get with mm-hmm. the debut. Like, mm-hmm. n- none of the dance moves were anything. Like, no. I, I'm actually surprised how many views that they get on YouTube. Because, like, there's, like, literally nothing that differentiates them. Um, like, what, there was a, there's been a girl group. Well, there was another cute girl group that recently came Labu. out. Maybe it was a little boom yeah. that like I, I got more of a granted I can't remember the name but I got more of a like okay from 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 them uh, but I don't know they had more person see the thing about SM is that with their new groups they like to make them all look the same yeah yeah and that like would have worked Velvet, yeah. yeah that would have worked before but nowadays it doesn't. You have to have like a different flavor for everybody. You gotta have yeah. a short hair girl. Yeah, you gotta have a short hair girl. You gotta have a long hair girl. You gotta have a blonde girl. girl. You gotta have a brunette girl. Sometimes it's a blonde short hair girl. Talking um, about AOA now? Yeah, we're talking about AOA. Yeah. Uh, just like for guy groups, you gotta have the floppy hat guy. Yeah, you gotta have like the soft spoken one. You gotta have yeah. like an outgoing goofy one. You gotta, you gotta have, have the, the handsome one. Quiet one in the, the back. One. Yeah. Gotta have the rough kind of looking one. Yeah, you gotta have the one that's like, you know, can speak multiple languages, like a smart one. You gotta have a stupid one. Then you have to have one that's like kind of gay and one that's not gay, and uh, then you have to have one that's like a father and one that's like a mother, and you gotta like pair them together in weird fanfics, you know, you know, I, I, you, you know. know. You thought about this way more than I did. You know, you know. Um, so that's lovely. I mean, maybe if they come out with a more differentiating things later, yeah. Um, I but, know they, you know, they've yeah. had some already. They've had some. Uh, uh, what's the word? Some scandals. Some scandals. That's the word. But whatever. Yeah. Um. 
Next, let's talk about a song we really liked, surprisingly. Yeah, so this song we really liked by uh, Kim Bumsu, uh, featuring Geeks. It's called Home Meal. Yeah. Or Jip Bop. And Kim, uh, uh, Kim Bumsu is like, he's been around for a while. He's yeah. like an R&B singer. Right? Yeah, he's put out at least two or three songs within the last two years or so. You just made a lot of noise there, bro. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. getting antsy. You're getting antsy. It's getting that time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, it was really surprising how much I really enjoy this song. Like, it's got the Geeks feel to it, which I really just love Geeks flow. Yeah. Um, and he's got such a kind of nice uh, voice. And paired with the music video, it's just nice. Yeah, it's like constant food porn shots. Just yeah. like food porn. I mean, it's called Home porn. Meal. It, it, the song is about... Eating, eating home your home cooked meal and mm-hmm. how much it reminds you of things and it's just again I think it only has like you know thirty thousand views. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you heard a snippet of it. If you're listening to the audio version, um, you should really check that out. It's really <coughs> I think it's a really great song. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on to a guy group, we have Teen Top with "I'm Sorry." Now I'm the one that kind of put this in here. Yeah. I really, I mean, I thought the song was pretty good, but the song I is pretty good. I re- I really enjoyed the music video. I see. I'm with you on there. Uh, what uh, sometimes music videos like will try to do too much, and this was okay. We're gonna showcase their dancing. This is a dancing kind of type of music video, and I love it for that because Teen Top, in my mind, are one of the best like dancing boy groups. Hmm. Um, their 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 like synchronization is really sharp, mm-hmm. and their uh, their moves just look really really sharp. Hmm. Like I, I will say, like uh, maybe one of some of the reasons I like it so much because it's it's shot so differently than how all boy group MVs are shot nowadays. Uh. Like it's very like it's n- it's very kind of out in the back. It's not just a crap ton of shots of their face, although that does happen. It's it's not remotely close to mm. uh, like a, the Got Seven one, yeah. for example, or any of the boy group. Yeah. Even GD and Taeyong is yeah. like half just close ups of their face. Yeah. And what really stood out for me is that, yeah, they have their group, like, choreography station mm-hmm. times, but they also, in this video, had, like, each indiv- mm-hmm. individual person doing the same moves mm-hmm. and, like, doing the progression. So you can just be like, oh, yeah, that guy is a good... Like, all of them can dance. Yeah. Like, it's pretty amazing. And they're wearing my favorite outfit on any guy, which is just a, a suit. suit. A simple... I mean, they have, suits. like, their... You know, quote, weirder little, outfits a little bit, a like little more... Little, yeah, little, like, sometimes their shirts are a little bit more flavorful, but, yeah. like... I just I like that look so much. I, I say that all the time. I just it's don't really like weird looks. I just just being weird for weird purposes. I just don't yeah. like it. I'm not a girl. You know I don't like guys. I mean, but I, you know when a dude's good looking, dude's good looking. Yeah. Like for example, the dude in Mama Move from B184. That's a fucking that good looking dude. Good man. looking dude. Um, but uh, Teen Top, there actually there's one dude that I think is really good looking. Mm. It's not Nell though. Sorry. It might be. He's kind of goofy looking. He looks like. I don't know the name of him, but he's featured relatively promis- uh, prominently in the team. Chung, Chungju, Chung, hmm? Maybe. Chungji, Chungji. I don't know what his name is. It's good. It's a good looking dude. Yeah. All right. Speaking of good looking dudes, this next dude is not, not good looking. <laughs> um, so our next song is by Damiano, we'll say, featuring Mina from Girls Day with Skyfall. Yeah. He he may not be the best looking dude in the world, but again, I'm really not the best looking dude in the world. But his I, his, this song, I'm down. I'm down with this song too. Like, so Steven, this song is like really kind of Steven's like rap. This is my, yeah. Yeah, like this is the kind of rap he likes. Yeah. But for me, what really made this song is Mina's like singing of the hook. Like when she first started singing that hook, at first when I heard the song, I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling it, Steven. It's a, it's a good, all right song. I, I mean, mm-hmm. it's not terrible, but it's not fantastic. And she starts singing and I'm like, oh, hold on. This is good. And then she stops singing and he starts rapping again. I'm like, hurry up and finish rapping. I want to hear the hook again. Like, that's what this hook sounds like to me. Mm. It, it really, really, her voice really, really complements, like, the style of song. Yeah. I think I'm more like, you're like two on rap, ten on chorus, but I'm more like six, six. Six, six. Like, yeah. I'm not like, I've heard th- I better hooks in my life. I maybe on um, four on rap. Four on rap. Okay. You're like four, four eight, and I'm yeah. more six, six. But... Yeah. Like, I just think that it, this song is pretty good. You probably will never hear it. Never. Um, it's, the music video is fucking weird. Really I don't, weird. It's not strange. It's not good. Um, really weird. But 
I think the song deserves a shot. Yeah. Uh, so that's what Damiano. <laughs> Damiano. Yeah, D A M I A N O. Like damn piano almost, but no. Yeah. Damiano. Um, Dan right. Marino. Dan Marino. Italiano. I'm Italian. No, that's good. That's good. We're going to that. <laughs> From Italy. Well, I, should, I should check the stats to see if we, we have, have any. Um, all right. Well, the next is... Uh, I don't. I can't think of a good transition. The next is Nicole, ex-member of Kara, uh, with her song Mama. Not to be confused with Mama Mia, which was mm-hmm. Kara's new single. Mm-hmm. Um, Nicole comes back, Mama. Ta-da-da-da. This, the only reason I mention this song is because this song is just nothing to me. <laughs> it I is felt nothing. the same way. It was hyped up so much, like, oh, Nicole is going to make her debut. And trust me, Nicole is as beautiful as ever. But I actually she... thought she looked remarkably older and not as cute. Huh. Personally, personally. I, well, I thought she looked attractive. No. But this video, very boring. Uh, well, okay. Actually, I would. Song, very I think boring. her dancing was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Like, oh. she had some, like, really cool. Like, normally when we see solo art, girl artists, they don't really do this kind of dancing. Too you much know? dancing. They don't do too um, much dancing. But, like, so I thought it, it was okay, but just uh. Uh, more so, I thought the song was just boring and nothing. All of it. The whole, like, coming back, like, single and, like, the music video and the music itself, it was really bleh for me. Mm. Like, honestly. If it wasn't Nicole, or if it, and if it wasn't hyped up this much, Steve and I wouldn't be talking about this sure. at all. Sure. Yeah. But I don't know. I think the dance. I mean, maybe I need to watch a performance or something. But I thought the dance was pretty cool. She has some really cool kind of moments. Because when I think of single, like I think of like Gina's, and I think of like uh, you know Jiyun's and Hyosun's, and like yeah. none of them do this type of dancing. And I thought yeah. it was me. I'm just yeah. trying to think of some positive to say. Um, not positive, not negative for me. Just whatever. Yeah. She obviously prepared a lot for it, but I'm just not impressed. Sorry. Which may be the same thing with Kata's single, yeah. too. <laughs> All right. What's the last song we're going to talk about? So today? our last song, um, you probably have not heard about these guys. Uh, Halo with Come On Now. Yeah, I think this song has, what, like 10,000 views or something? I, it has a, a, Some a, a crazy sl- small uh, yeah. amount. Halo's a new boy group. Oh, it's got 50,000. That's 50, not too 000. bad. It's not, too, it's, not too, too, it's not too bad. I don't think they're new, but I would say they're a rookie group. I think they're new in the last six months. Um, maybe. I could be wrong on that. <coughs> but um, when we heard the song, Steve and I both said, Ah, GOT7 should have sang this. GOT7 got should have done something like this. Yeah. It's like, it's like a fun song. Yeah. The music video, I mean, the music video is shot like kind of like SMXO videos are, have been shot recently, so well, I kind of thought SM is just shooting all their videos. Okay, all well, all of them now, mm-hmm. where it's kind of like moving with them dancing, and then weird cuts da, of like da, zooms da, into da, their da, face, da. um, at like kind of low quality, mm-hmm. um, like it's a little technical, but like they should shoot those videos at 4K so that, that when they zoom into someone's face, it looks 1080p, but they don't do that. Oh. Um, it so it looks really grainy. Sometimes yeah. I don't like it. Um, besides the point. I actually really enjoy this song. Uh, yeah. I might even download it because it's like a kind of an older school kind of boy group sound that I like. I yeah. said repeatedly, I don't really like the new style of boy group songs yeah. where it's like not fun and poppy anymore. It's a little bit more like hip hop influence, but like not the good kind of hip hop, like yeah. the, the faux wannabe kind of hip hop influence. I just don't, I'm just not a big fan of yeah. But this song had like a GOT7 happy. The, I thought the choreography was actually kind of I, kinda I cool. really liked the choreography, actually. It was very... Um, it wasn't really technically difficult, but yeah. it had the members interacting with each other a lot, and I'm yeah. a big fan of that. And, you know, even though I just had that spiel, like, it's a kind of cool way to shoot videos, right? That yeah. that kind of... Uh, uh, I don't want to say SM way of doing it, but, uh, you know, that SM kind of probably, They probably weren't the first, but SM is definitely riding they, that horse they, to death they wrote it. right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's Halo. We're giving a shout out to some boy groups. Can't say we don't yeah, like all boy groups about now, maybe guys. Four. Yeah, I mean, right. I guess GD and Taeyong. Halo. We talked about Team Top. Talked about Got Seven. Yeah. yeah, and I think we came up positive on a three of came the four. Three of the four. Yeah. But uh, again, you know, still like the Kim Bom <laughs> Kim Bom Su uh, rapping, and I still like the Damiano probably rapping more than yeah. I like the other ones. 
Um, so give that a shot. If you don't, if we just spoke too fast, you can go to the YouTube thing. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Josh usually annotates the 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 video form so that you yeah. can click on it. I don't actually know what you do for the lightning round. The lightning round, I just uh, do. You put a, like a little box somewhere that says "click here" to go to this. I don't actually know. I don't. Oh, I just I just timestamp it. Oh, you just timestamp it. If you want to see what like we're talking about. Or... Well, maybe now you know. Sorry, more work. You should put up a little thing during the lightning rounds and be like, "click here" to watch the video. For I can this do that thing. too if you guys like. Um, and if you're listening to the audio version, which many, many, many more people do than the video. Uh, I put uh, hopefully I put a little thing in there so you can listen to it. Um, so that is it for episode fifty nine. We're almost at sixty. Hey. Um, that's crazy to me. Um, so uh, next week, oh sorry, next episode, we'll be back hopefully on time. This will be I think yeah. we haven't been on time too much, but this marks two weeks in a row where we were on time. Two weeks in a row, we were almost not on time because of me. I was like Stephen, can we just do this another time? Yeah. And I was like, you know what? No. Let's and I heard, I was like, okay, I'm going to play video games. And I didn't, like, prepare as much as I normally would. So. And I was like, yeah, let's just do it today. And then I was like, crap, I'm playing video games. I should probably prepare for this. Uh, so we did. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you can, go to Drama Fever. Check out our videos. K-Drama Laws. Yeah, K-Drama Laws. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you can, just tell people about us. Yeah. You know, if you got some friends, tell people about us. I know I don't think we do a good job of like promoting ourselves. Promoting ourselves. Like we're really bad on Facebook, we're really bad on Twitter. But yeah. you know, if you guys can help us out, um, tell people about us, we'd be really grateful. Yeah. Just tell you yeah, our friends to go tell your friends about your friends. Yep. Yeah. All right. Until next time. Bye. Da 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 da. Da 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 That was terrible. <laughs>